I got one last great calculation to show you and this concerns the length of pipe. Here again refer to this previous situation, drain pipes slope and they have a definite drop so that uh, liquid can come out of it. And uh, the horizontal measurement is called a run, the vertical measurement is called a drop when you look at a pipe from sideways. When you look at it from above on a blueprint, all you see is a straight piece of pipe, but when you look at it from sideways, that's the only way you can see that it slopes. So the length of pipe here, the length of pipe, that's a capital L, that goes from there to there, is a totally different mathematical concept that differs from the run of the pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, the length of pipe, again, has nothing to do with the run of the pipe. However, in piping trades, and you will see the run is really, really close to the length, or the length is really close to the run. So, uh, in most cases, they can be treated as identical, but in terms of math, they are not. I'll prove it to you. So, what we have here is a simple right angle triangle with a square corner there. And on any right angle triangle, we have a side that is a hypotenuse. So I'm going to redraw the triangle here with the length of pipe here. So here we have a hypotenuse. I'm just going to go H on it. And we have a, I'm just going to go side and side. But those are the legs on the triangle, but whatever. Those are the short sides. And if you remember, Mr. Pythagoras uh, figured out something about the square of the hypotenuse and what he figured out is that the uh, that the sum of the shorter sides sides A and B the sum of the squares of the shorter sides equal the square of the hypotenuse it's important that in this triangle the longest side is always the C, that's the C square thing in this one, and that shorter side, this could be A or this could be B or the other way around, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't, as long as C is the longest side, okay, that's crucial that C is the longest side. So to calculate the length of a pipe, you need a figure for drop and a figure for, dr for run. I'm going to do one A square, B square, C square calculation on this one. A realistic one that pipe fitters work with okay so let's say we have a length of pipe that is no we don't have a length that's what we're calculating we have a horizontal run of, of I don't know how about 18 feet four and a half inches that's a delightful number that's for run and an 18 foot long pipe drops I don't know. How about three and a half inches for now, okay? And after these two numbers, we need to calculate the length of the pipe. So what you do is, here is the run, which is up here. See, the run is up here. You have to square this thing. And then you have to square that one as well. Square it, square it, add it, and, to get, and that's going to equal to C square the length of pipe, the hypotenuse. And and to equal it to the length, you're gonna have to square root that. So run and drop, square it, square it, add it, square root it. And then you're gonna get length. Let's do this. Oh yeah, minor minor glitch. Before you can enter three and a half on a calculator, you're gonna make it look like a meaningful number that you can enter on a calculator. So let's make it into decimal inches. How about 3.5 inches? That's doable on a calculator. And I want to make decimal inches out of that one. Double quick. 18 feet has 18 times 12 inches in it. That equals 216 inches. And then you have four more. So just add four plus a half, 4.5. So 220.5 is that number. So I need to square that one, that one, add them, and then square root the whole thing. I'm going to get a length of pipe. 
So I just go zero. So 220.5 squared. And I just press the button that says the squaring button. That one X with a little two in the corner. That means squaring. And I'm not swearing. Plus 3.5 squared. So that's what I've got so far. And I'm just gonna equal. So that's a big number. I'm not interested in it. And then press second function on this model. Square root sign equal. I have 220.527777 inches because that's six that's rounded down because the calculator doesn't know what to do it's an infinite decimal so the 220.5 inch original run on the pipe just got barely barely longer that how much longer just this much longer that's two hundredth of an inch plus change what does that two hundredth of an inch equate to let me just subtract this two hundred and twenty out of it so I only have the decimal numbers and all the decimal numbers without copying it down and writing it down whatever I'm just gonna put this pencil under it for glare control and I want sixteenth of an inch so I'm trying it by sixteenth so I have eight sixteenth plus a little more I'm gonna subtract, no I'm not gonna subtract, so that's 18 and a half, eight, sorry, eight and a half sixteenth. I'm just gonna write that one down, eight and a half sixteenth. We know that eight sixteenth is half an inch, so eight and a half six, sixteenth is just, just half a sixteenth more than eight sixteenth. So, eight sixteenth plus, let's see, zero, Point five. Sorry, now that's an ugly 0 0.5 sixteenth. What the heck is 0 0.5 sixteenth? Well, half a sixteenth is the same thing as one thirty seconds of an inch. Okay, so the original pipe that was 220 inches or 18 feet 4 inches and a half, it only got one thirty second of an inch longer. So that's why in most calculations, the length of the pipe is pretty much the same as the run of the pipe because that one thirty second of an inch that's negligible uh, one more in metric we have a run of uh, I'm just gonna go 1.375 meters and we have a drop of I don't know 6.2 centimeters just an itty bit of metric conversion <clears throat> this also needs to be in centimeters so from meters to centimeters that's two spots so I'm going one two that's 137 and a half centimeters and it needs to be squared that way and the 6.2 as good as is needs to be squared that way add them and square root the result let's do let's do it <clears throat> There, my glare control pencil. There, 137.5 squared plus 6.2 squared equals second function square root sign equals that's the length of pipe equals 137.639 centimeters. It used to be 137.5, so I'm, I'm just subtracting the original length of it, minus 137.5 centimeters is, the difference is 0 0.1397 centimeters. Okay, it's not even a centimeter, it's 0 0.1 of a centimeter, at 0 0.1 that means 1 millimeter, 1.3 millimeters. So, Good luck measuring, laying out and cutting 1.3 millimeter accurately. It's not happening on the job site. That's why the run of the pipe is pretty much the same as the length of the pipe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.